Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I look a little bit really pale <laughs> because today we're going to be doing a full face with the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. So I did a full face a few weeks ago with my Pan That Palette for 2020, the um, Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. I'll throw it up in the cards if you missed it, but underneath that video I had so many great like comments and recommendations and suggestions for what else I should do a full face with. So I have quite a few <laughs> palettes I have on my list, but the first one that was just really inspiring me was this Sunset Palette because uh, mainly off camera a couple of times. I think maybe I did uh, a look that I showed on camera, but I've been using this bright yellow shade as a blush. And you can see with my like blush brush where it's like mainly yellow, I've just been going into that shade and I've been dipping in and just experimenting a bit more. And so I thought this would be really fun to do the next full face of with this palette. Because we have a lot to work with here. We've got browns for like bronzer and contour. I've got a red and a yellow and an orange for blush. I've got this bright white I think I can use as a highlight. And then the rest we'll do some kind of eye look with. So I thought that would be really fun. And that's why I'm looking very pale. So to start off first, I think I'm going to do my brows. Because my brows are looking mm, some kind of way. Recently, and I think if you've been to my channel for a bit, you'll know that I love just stark black brows there is no black in this palette unfortunately so there is only some dark brown shades and i think the darkest brown is this shade right here so i'm gonna jump in with that shade and just start to work with my brows and the same way that i did my uh, blood sugar palette full face basically i am going to do everything in my power to make this look decent <laughs> like I did my foundation, concealer, and then face powder. I set everything and then I let it set for a bit because I don't want this just to be like a gimmick clickbait. Oh, look what I did. Like I want this, I want to do my best to actually like make this look really nice. Like I would go out like on a date night or I would go out to work. I don't know about work. We'll see how stark this is, but I would go out somewhere with this look. Okay, I'm going to use the mirror here. So straight off the bat, it's definitely warmer than I would prefer for my brows, but at least it's dark enough. Like it does look pleasantly dark, at least for this. All right, so you can see from like this little point that I put right here, it looks really warm right there. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I'm just gonna like blend it in and do my best to blend this out. And I think that is good enough for the brows. So I'm just going to go in with a clear brow gel. This is the NYX Control Freak. I'm just going to brush this through so that it will set. And by the time we finish the rest of my face and go in to do my eyes, this should be nice and dried down. See, I just look so much more put together just with brows on. <laughs> so we've got that done. Next, we're going to go with bronzer. So I think for bronzer... I was looking through and I'm thinking it's probably going to be either this shade or this shade. We might mix them together, but I'm going to do my best to use a really light hand because I really don't know how pigmented these are going to show up. So I'm going to do a little bit of that lighter shade, brush off the excess, and tap it on. Ooh, ooh, that's pigmented brush off what it remains and just blend okay that's a bit that's a bit orange <laughs> it's a bit really orange so i'm gonna go over with just a more brown shade i think i'm gonna use this shade right here and really i'm gonna tap off that excess tap it off here tap it off on my hand and then go in Ooh, that's dark this is a learning experience Ooh, i need to just like try my best to blend this out oh my god i'm gonna go to do a fiber brush so that mm, was probably a mistake so it's i guess to make this face match what i'm gonna do is do the same thing on the other side and then i'm either going to use just a face powder i have the balm translucent powder right here or i'll go in with my loose powder and tap it over to really just calm it calm it the hell down like really so let me just match the other side. Man, you know, I have to admit, this is looking a lot worse than I thought it would. <laughs> Yikes. So I have this bright white setting powder from Notoriously Morbid Cosmetics, and I am just gonna pat out... Oh, I just dropped it all over my palette. 
we're good there. But I'm just going to use a poof poof and just set this over that failed bronzer. Hopefully it will lighten it up, make it a little less orange. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for like a minute. So that helped a little bit. Uh, we're, we're not doing great so far. So what I'm going to do is with a super light hand, contour. And I think, man, I've got powder all over this palette. I think I'm gonna take the shade to contour. I was gonna use this shade, but that's too dark. So I'm gonna use this shade and just the lightest of light hands. Tap, 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 contour. Okay, so it's not the worst. Not the best, not the worst though. So at least we look like it's supposed to look like this, right? Okay, so from here, let's jump into blush. <laughs> make this a little bit better so like i mentioned earlier i kind of want to go in with that yellow blush so i'm going to just jump in with my blush brush this is a wet and wild brush and just load it up with the yellow and i've done this a few times i actually really like how the yellow looks so i'm just gonna pat this all over like really drape this like bring it up bring it down I want this to be a nice yellow blush look and you can even layer this. I've done looks where I put this yellow down first and then I go over with like a red or like a uh, an orange or even like a regular like rose or mauve toned kind of blush. And I've layered this with other shades of blush and it just looks really pretty. I'm just kind of, again, I mentioned how this inspired me to really do this look and maybe, maybe it was a, a fluke and maybe only the yellow looks good as a blush because the rest so far ain't working the best for me, but I think it looks really pretty. So I'm gonna go back in with my duo fiber and blend this in. Okay, I'd say I really like the blush more so than the bronzer and the contour. That turned out really kind of muddy. I think we can work around it. Um, next for highlight, I really just wanted to use this bright white shade. So let's just dip in with my highlight brush and see what happens, you know? So. Cupid's bow. Oh, ooh, that's really pretty. That looks so pretty. To make sure that's blended in, I'm just gonna go into my duo fiber again. Like I feel like every other step I use this duo fiber, it's a great brush. And this one's from ColourPop. Make sure that is blended. Ooh, I sh okay. Honestly, looking now, I should have just skipped bronzer and contour, and just gone in with the blush and the highlight because that looks pretty. I should have just skipped that, but. I did my best and I tried and this is a learning experience. Okay, so honestly, the, the blush and highlight is saving this. You can see there's definitely some muddiness and some skipping when it comes to those darker shades, but you know, they're not really meant to be face powders. I'm trying to make them face powders, so I will give them a little big, a little tiny bit of slack there. I'm gonna jump off camera and prime my eyes real quick and then do a little bit of cleanup around my lips and then we'll jump into the eye look. All right, so we're back. I primed my eyes. Honestly, the eyebrows, they're a little warmer for my taste, but they don't look bad. And I did just use my Duo Fiber Magic Brush to do a little bit more blending. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the bronzer and blush, or no, bronzer and contour, but it still looks decent. Like, I would walk outside like this. Moving on to the eye look. I don't know if I've just been on a really orange kick recently. The last Get Ready With Me I did, I did an orange look. But looking at this and considering I used a lot of the other shades, I want to go orange for the eye look so we're, we're gonna go orange so we're gonna go orange for the eye look so i'm gonna use this lightest well actually that's technically the lightest shade whoopsie so i want to take let's use this this is like a shimmer kind of shade and i'm gonna use it as my transition i've noticed just with my experience with natasha Denona palettes in general I really like using their, not like the really bright, like you can tell that this is a shimmer shimmer and then this is like a, a more matte shimmer. That makes no sense. I don't know what the actual words are, but I really like using Natasha Denona shimmers in my crease. They just look so pretty, especially in the green brown palette. What I've been doing for like my new go-to look, I'll film it for my next HP Project Pan update, but it's just like all mainly shimmer shades, if not all shimmer shades, and it looks gorgeous. So... 
Oh, uh, this looks pretty. There we go. So you've got a nice transition. You've got a nice glow whenever you turn. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Alrighty, so to deepen this up, I really want to go in with this shade. It doesn't look too much darker than this one, but this one is matte. So I think maybe it'll bring a little bit more dimension into the look. And I'm really going to keep this to like the outer third and just build it up here. I am getting a lot of fallout just from the matte shade, you can already see. I didn't get as much fallout from like that shimmer kind of shade. The satin shade. That's what I was trying to think of. It's a satin shade, not a shimmer. So before the stains, like the fallout, I'm just going to go in with my duo fiber and just brush that away. I see a little bit of staining. Okay, we got it. There we go. Brush it away quickly and with the duo fiber and it will not, for the most part, it will not stain. <laughs> and all I have those two shades blended in, I want to deepen it up just a little bit more with this shade right here. So I'm going to go in and really, really concentrate that just like right here. Don't want to move too much from like right there. And I've already got fallout. Okay, so it's looking a little bit more neutral than I thought it would look, but I like it. I like the tones that we're working with. So, I want to do the lower lash line before I go in with the shimmer. And I think I'm, I'm just going to use those same three shades just to do my lower lash line real quick. We'll be right back. Alright, so we have the lower lash line done, and I tested out a few of the shimmers. And I want to go in with, like, this dark copper. I think it would look really pretty with the look that we have. And I'm going to go in with my tried and true NYX Glitter Glue. You can go in just like with your finger if you're going for like a more blown out look with these shimmers, but I've noticed that unlike a few other cheaper, cheaper options, if you go in with just a finger with these Natasha Denona shimmers and you have uh, hooded lids, they will not last all day. So that, that is a, a little bit of a gripe I have with Natasha, like considering I'm paying this much for a palette. These shimmers should last all day no matter what I do with them, but uh, they do not. So make sure you use a glitter glue. So for my inner corner highlight, I want to go in with one of these bright golds. I know it would be so pretty. I think I'll do a combination of like these two shades right here. So I am just going to go boop, 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 mix them together. Inner corner. Boom. And I'm going to do the same, just a tiny, tiny bit on the, the brow highlight. So here we are with the final look. I do have to say I unfortunately got a little bit of mascara down here that stained a bit. So ignoring that, I'm actually happy with how this came out with the exception of the bronzer. I love the eye look. I love the blush and the highlight. I'm shocked by the highlight. The highlight looks really pretty. The, the bronzer and the contour was a bit of a fail. So moving forward, I think I'm still going to reach for my uh, Natasha Denona palettes for like blush. I really do like this yellow blush. I think it looks really pretty, especially on my skin tone. But, yeah, I'm just a little disappointed with how the bronzer and contour came out. But overall, like, still, just, like, looking at a full picture, I would walk outside like this, even without a mask, you know? You should be wearing a mask when you go outside. But for the point of this, I indeed would be seen with this makeup. That's the point I'm trying to make here. <laughs> so overall, not bad. Especially, like, when I actually go and do my hair, which I should do before I film my next video. But... Yeah, I'm glad I did this. I want to do more of these full face videos with like other Natasha Denona palettes, with other palettes. I will say, spoiler alert, the next palette I really want to do this with is with the ColourPop Good Sport palette. So that'll be coming probably in a couple of weeks, but I'm really excited to do that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below, other than the Good Sport palette, what palette you want to see a full face of next. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.